welcome all of you to our channel IAPT Learners Hub. Today I am going to discuss very very important topic that is controlled statements in the programming language. No doubt we can say this is the very very important topic of the programming languages. Whatever I am going to discuss this concept you can implement in all other programming languages. The name of the topic which I am going to discuss here controlled statements. What are the controlled statements supported to C++ language? What are they? Selection statements, iterative statements and jump statements. These are the three statements are supported to C++ language. Now, what is a control statement? The generally the program will be executed always from top to bottom in the sequential order. In the sequential order. This is the sequential order. The project with the program will be executed from top to bottom is in a sequential order. But sometimes we want to change the order of execution that depending on some condition statements must execute. That time we can make use of control statements. That time we can make use of control statements. There are Three types of control statements are there. This is selection statements, iteration statements, jump statements. Okay. What are the subcategories of selection statements? There are two subcategories are there. If and if. Another one is known as switch. If and switch. These are the two subcategories of selection statement. The, how they will work? What is the syntax of this and example program? Everything I have discussed in the selection statements video. Okay, that is how they will work. What is the syntax of this and example program? Everything I have discussed in the selection statements. Next, we are having the condition statements is iteration statements. Iteration statements popularly known as loops. If I want to repeat certain part of the program continuously until certain conditions remain true, then I should prefer the iteration statements. C++ supports three categories of iteration statements, while, do, while, for. So if I want to repeat certain part of the program continuously, then we can make use of the iteration statements. A separate video for iteration statements is uploaded with syntax and examples. Next condition statement is jump statements. Third category. The name itself answer is there in jump statements. Okay. Jump statements are implemented to change the flow of the program when the particular conditions are satisfied. To change the flow, flow of the program when the particular conditions are satisfied. Jump statements are used when we want to skip some statements inside the loop or terminate the loop immediately when some conditions become true. There are four categories. Break, continue, go to and repair. Continue, it is used for skipping the part of the loop's body. To skipping part of the loop's body. Break, it is used to stop the execution of the loop. Go to, it is used for jumping from one statement to another within a function. Okay. These are the jump statements supported to C++ language or C language any programs. Okay. Is it clear now? What are the condition statements? There are three types of condition statements is there. Selection statements, iteration statements and Jump statements. Selection based statement is classified into two categories if and switch. Again, if is classified into four categories simple if, if else, else in order, nested if else. Next is iteration statements. That is popularly known as loop. There are three categories while, do, while, for. Next is jump statements. The four categories are okay. These are the control statements. Each and every separate video is uh, uploaded in the 
Hope you learned the control statements. Next video, I am going to discuss about conditional statements. What are the different types of conditional statements? Everything I will explain with the example. If you like this video, subscribe the channel. Like and share also. Thank you for watching.